West Virginia, June 6, 2004. Tony Slayton, 44, was no stranger to law enforcement. She had been in jail for shooting at her boyfriend on an attempted murder charge. But that's not what this story is about. Slayton was driving in West Virginia when she was pulled over for an expired tag. When the officer ran the tag, it wasn't even issued to the vehicle she was driving. During his questioning, he noticed the distinct smell of rotting flesh. It was coming from the woman's trunk. He asked her to pop her trunk. He stated the odor from the trunk was very strong. He asked Slayton what was possibly causing that smell. That smell would be her deceased son, missing since 2004. Quincy Davis was stuffed in the boot of her Ford Mustang. Davis was murdered by his mother. An autopsy was performed on the boy. He had on a white t-shirt, blue jeans, and an adult diaper. His ribs were fractured, collarbone fractured, and he was filled with lesions. Police didn't understand why no one had reported this boy missing. For over 10 years, no school officials, no friends, no family. Why? A journal Quincy had written at 10 years old, he put in it, he was scared of his mother. The teachers say he was always clean and happy, very intelligent. The family of Slayton say she was a harsh mother, she was hot-tempered, and she was critical when it came to disciplining Quincy. Department of Human Services had intervened when she had beat her son so bad when he was six years old, his family said it looked like, quote, slave marks, unquote. In January 2019, the judge had sentenced her for 10 years with two years served. Now, this sentence almost didn't happen. With court technicalities, the officer who had stopped her, the state trooper, Chad P. DeMeyer, he had a trainee with him and he had been scheduled to testify against Slayton, but he was shot dead in a Richmond bus station on March 31st. It wasn't said of whether or not the trainee decided to testify because that person was obviously there. Quincy would have been 25 years old the day he was pulled out of that car boot. Warren, Ohio, September 11. This is one of those stories that will stick with you, but not for good reasons. When Felicia was 21, she met Cody Beamer, 19. She already had a daughter, and she would end up having a total of four children. They would wed very young. The last one was definitely by her husband, Cody. There may have been other children that he fathered, but I'm not really quite sure which ones. Felicia had a sister that she was very close with. Her name was Loretta. She had an 18-month-old son, this is Felicia's nephew, that Beamer would love to babysit from time to time. Now, right here, I'm not certain of the scenario, so I will only give you the facts. Felicia's sister found a SIM card belonging to Cody in her house. It contained over 538 images of child porn and bestiality. It was also a video of Cody raping her 18-month-old son in her house when he was willingly babysitting for her. The most awful part was her very own sister was recording it. There were other victims on the SIM card, 
being recorded by this sick ass couple. On the video showed Felicia and Cody going to visit their 13 month old daughter at Trumbull County Services. During the two hour unsupervised visit that was supposed to be supervised, the married couple took videos of them raping their daughter together. They actually taped themselves raping their daughter right there during a supervised visit, but they were alone with their 13 month old daughter. Cody was jailed as a teenager for raping a three year old boy. So he was labeled a sex offender very young. And soon after he would find Felicia and marry Felicia. During this time, Tiffany Sue Banks, this is Felicia's child, not with Cody, was placed in a foster home and she was murdered by her foster mother, Bonnie Pattinson. So yes, these children were really having some bad times. Tiffany would die of asphyxiation. She had marks all over her body and her neck. The ones on her neck actually matched the rings that her foster mother was wearing. During Pattinson's trial, she pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter and she got nine years. Now, during the trial of the Beamers, it had came up that Felicia had been raped before. Felicia had actually been raped by her mother's boyfriend, which resulted in her first pregnancy. The judge told her, being it happened to you, you know how it felt. You understood that it was wrong. Even though they would try to bring up the fact that Felicia had a reading capacity of an eight-year-old, there are people that can't read a word, but they wouldn't do anything like this. Felicia Beamer would get 15 years to life and her husband Cody, 25 to life. Niagara Falls, New York, February 21st, 2019. Samantha Klein, 31, was entrusted to watch three-month-old Alea Foster. She looked after her previously and Klein had children of her own. Alea was dropped off to Klein on February 21st around 9 a.m. Two hours later, a Google search, what happens when a baby has a seizure? On February 22nd, Alea's mom, Dominique Hilson, called, no mention by Klein of what was going on with the baby. Klein finally called the paramedics, but to no avail. Leah had died. Klein had denied, denied, denied. Three weeks after Alea's death, she went on television and she was protesting she was innocent. She even said the baby had a bruise on her when she was dropped off by Hilson. For seven entire months, even after her arrest, she would say she was innocent. Then finally she would admit it. An autopsy report would tell it all anyway. Klein had shaken Aaliyah so hard she shattered her spine. Aaliyah had bleeding on her brain and a fractured skull. She laid there in agony for 24 hours. Alea was dying. She was sentenced on December 3rd, 2019. But before that sentence happened, she had separate crimes of selling fentanyl to an undercover police officer and she had an armed robbery charge. Samantha Klein has received 25 years in prison and of course the baby's family is not too happy with that sentence, saying in 25 years she can get out 
and she can live her life, but we can hope those 25 years are horrible ones.